Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, I shall be looking at these. Day 14 of Santa's Workshop and the case of the missing cookies. So let's start off with Santa's Workshop and see how we get on today. Right, let's put the other calendar down. And yesterday we worked out that we were here, I think. Yes, so if I just open that door, then we've got... Oh, I don't think I really paid attention to this way from the door yesterday. What have we got? Some shapes and some letters. I'm guessing we're going to be using these letters to identify which door we'll be opening today to find our chocolate for day 13. That's oh, sorry, 14. Oh my goodness, this is track of time. Um, now, I do observe that there is a sort, which I can't make out of. If I just tear this off. I'm assuming I'm making the door name out of these letters. I can't make sort. There's no O. I can't make label. There's no B. can't make glitter. There's no G. All the other doors I'm skipping are open already. Wrap, I can't make. There's no W. Um, I can make finish, there's F-I, yep, I can make finish, there's no D for double check, there's no K for shake, there's no J for rejects, there's no uh, G for untangled, no X for fix, no P for inspect or dispatch, so I don't have to solve the puzzle, the answer must be finish, but let's try and solve the puzzle anyway. Now we've got all these shapes and I know that there are some of the shapes on the calendar over here, um, do they go together? They're the same shapes, but they're in colour. This could be in colour. Why are they not in colour? Maybe that doesn't matter. I've got a blue triangle here, for example, which corresponds with this position, corresponds with F. Put these back together. So I think, oh yeah, F for finish, right? And then here, coming down, we've got triangle for I, star for N, triangle for I again, it's definitely finish, circle for S, and heart for H. So finish is what is spelled by that door. And therefore, tilt my camera back now, can't I? Therefore, uh, our day 14 chocolate is in here. It's got to be, right? Yeah, day 14. I oh, thought I'd torn that for a minute on the camera, but no, it's got an actual crack drawn on it. Anyway, let's look at the other calendar. So here we go, the case of the missing cookies. And yesterday, we discovered that our door was behind Tom, the police elf. So let's see what he's got to say for himself. It's not a lot of text, is there? What? Don't pin this on me. Why don't you get out your little red string and start trying to connect the dots? OK, now, bold text frequently doesn't apply to the day to the day it applies to, but sometimes it does. And yesterday, some of the words in bold applied to the day, but some of them didn't. So I'm going to guess that this does apply today, though, because there's not much here. And I know there are pins on the back because we've been taking some of the doors off throughout the calendar and sticking them on the back of the calendar. So... Sounds like we're connecting the red pins. Maybe not the blue or yellow ones. It only says red. But there are blue and yellow pins here. Well, let's see what's going on here. Right, so this is the part of the calendar with the pins on. Uh, the highest pin is here. Then there's red. Well, there's four reds. There are five yellows. And there are two blues. So what happens if we connect the... Are we finding words? Well, no, if I connect the blues, nothing happens. Let's just connect the reds. If I draw a line through them, does that highlight certain letters or words? No, not really. Maybe listen, they, another. Maybe I'm literally drawing lines to connect them. What happens if I draw lines? Wait, I'm going to get a zero if I join my all the reds. Um, am I getting numbers? If I join the blues, that's going to be a one. What if I join the yellows? Are they going to make a six, right? Like this. Was well, that arbitrary, though? Because... I could equally make a, a 2 out of the reds, or no, only a 2 or a 0, I think. I could equally make a 4 out of these, but that's definitely a 1. Are there any elves with a 1, three-digit number with a 1 in the middle? Because each, each day we need to identify an actual elf. Um, a three-digit number, with a, he's got a 1 in the middle, and a 4 at the end, which was one of the possibilities. And a 2 is a possibility. It's looking like that's going to be the answer. Any other three-digit elves? 771? Seven, seven, no, there's no 7. I don't think seven, because the first one had all the way around the outside. One, eight, one? No, the first one was not one. OK, I think we are opening CJ Carter 214. So let's just go back, look at the L's again. If I were to join these into a four, oh, look, those two pins are actually facing each other. And these two pins are facing each other. But then nothing's facing this one. 
it is facing down. If I draw the angle it's at to the yellow one, that's not a coincidence, is it? There's a four. And then the blues are pointing at each other. There's my one. And how does it work for the two? I guess they are not in pairs, but this points at this. This points not at that at all, actually. It's pretty wonky, but let's just do it anyway. So there we go. Two, one, four. Conclusive, I think. So let's open door two and four, and here's our chocolate for day 14. Yes, there we go. Right, well, that's both Advent Calendar solved for today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please join me in tomorrow's video when I shall solve the puzzles inside those two days. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you did. Please do like and comment on the video if you'd, please, if you'd like to. I, I would really like to know what you thought of that day. Um, and otherwise, all that really remains is I hope to see you in a future video. So until one of those, take care and goodbye.